The process of buying a home is often a complex one, involving multiple steps in negotiation. However, despite reaching the stage of pending home sales, not all transactions successfully culminate in ownership transfer. This video aims to shed a light on the common reasons behind failing pending home sales, highlighting six key factors that contribute to this occurrence. My name is Aaliyah M. Clark. I am a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. If you guys are new here, I really appreciate you for tuning into the video. If you guys are returning, thank you guys for all the support. Let's go ahead and hop into the causes of failed pending home sales. So first is financing issues. One of the primary reasons for failed pending home sales is financing problems. Buyers may not be able to secure a mortgage due to changes in their financial situation, such as a decrease in credit score, difficulties with employment verification, or failure to meet lending requirements. Additionally, appraisals that fall below the agreed upon sales price can also result in financing concerns, as lenders may reject the mortgage application or modify the terms of the loan. For number two, we have home inspection outcomes. A thorough home inspection is crucial to ensure a property's condition aligns with the buyer's expectations. Home inspections can uncover defects such as structural issues, plumbing or electrical problems, or even evidence of pests. Substantial findings or disagreements regarding repairs between the buyer and the seller can lead to negotiations breaking down and the pending sale falling through. Next up, we have delays and contingencies. So delays in the home buying process are not uncommon and they can often lead to negotiations breaking down. So delays in the home buying process are not uncommon and they can often lead to negotiations breaking down delays can occur due to difficulties obtaining necessary documentation inspections taking longer than expected or other logistical challenges moreover contingencies such as the sale of the buyer's current home or the completion of certain repairs can introduce uncertainties and prolong the process increasing a likelihood of pending sale collapse so number four unexpected home value fluctuation. The value of a property can fluctuate significantly during the period of a pending sale. External factors such as changes in the local real estate market or shifts in the economy can impact the perceived value of a home. If the appraised value falls short of the agreed upon sales price, buyers may back out, leading to renegotiations or even dissolution of the pending sale. For number five, we have discrepancies in the property disclosure. The property disclosure plays a crucial role in facilitating transparency between the buyer and the seller. Incomplete and inaccurate disclosures regarding the property's history, previous damage, or ongoing issues can erode trust between the parties involved. Unresolved disputes arising from such discrepancies can ultimately result in a breakdown of the pending sale. For number six, we have emotional factors and buyer's remorse. Purchasing a home is a significant financial undertaking and emotions often run high during the process. Buyers may experience buyer's remorse, second guessing their decision, or feeling overwhelmed by the magnitude of this investment. These emotional factors can lead buyers to back out of the pending sale despite having made a previous commitment. The process of buying a home is intricate with many potential pitfalls that can derail a Pending sale. This video has explored six significant reasons behind failed pending home sales, ranging from financial challenges and home inspection outcomes to delays, property value fluctuations, discrepancies in the property disclosure, and emotional factors like buyer's remorse. Being aware of these factors and their potential impact can help buyers, sellers, and real estate professionals navigate the complexities of the home buying process, more effectively fostering increased transparency in successful transactions. I hope you guys found this video valuable. If you guys did, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. It really will help me reach more people and get the word out about all this information that you may or may not be missing. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.